Hi, my kindergarten friends. It's time for another writing activity, and today's a special one because we're going to listen to a story and then do a writing assignment that's going to be using your imagination and everything you know about writing up until now. So before I read you the story, I want to make sure you have all of your materials. So you need your writing folder, and in your writing folder, you have your resources of your alphabet chart and some ideas. You should also now have this little reminder that we're going to think, draw, and write. And you also have a chart that looks a little the same, but it's a little smaller than this one. And it has two, a couple more things on here. But this is your chart that says, when we are done, we have just begun. Because what we know now is once we write our story, we can go back and add to our pictures. We can add to our words. Right? So use this to help you in your writing today. The other thing you're going to need is in the last pickup your parents got you, your, uh, you should have three pieces of writing paper that look something like this. The writing paper will look like this and it'll have squiggly lines on them. And there's three different kinds of squiggly lines. You get to pick which paper you want to use. So one of these three you're going to use today for your writing and you can pick the squiggle you want. I also have my writing uh, tools and you can use crayons or markers or pencils or whatever you have that you want to use today. All right, so are you ready for the story? This story is called The Squiggle. Hmm, I wonder what it's about. Here's our cover. Here's our title page. And here's where our story starts. My teacher says, time to walk to the park. So as always, off we go in a bunched up, slow, tight straight line. I am last. No one else sees what I see on the sidewalk. I wonder what she sees on the sidewalk. Do you see anything there? I grab it. Slither, slish. It could be the dance of a big scaly dragon or push a pat the top of a long great wall. She's using her imagination. Snap, ta da! Maybe it's the path of a circus acrobat. Or, crack, crinkle, hiss, the sky trail of popping fireworks. Tug, kaboom, it might be the poof of a stormy thundercloud. Or, Ripple, the circle of a deep, still pool, or even a whoosh, the rise of a full, fat moon. Not so far ahead, I see my teacher and my class shuffling along. Wait, I call, look! Everyone turns around. I draw the dragon, the wall, the acrobat. The fireworks, the storm cloud, the pool, and the moon. Everyone is smiling. Hooray! They cheer and grab on too. Then off we go to the park in our slither, slish, push a pat, snap, ta da, crack, crickle, hiss, tug, kaboom, ripple, sh, a whoosh, squiggle of a line. And that's the end of our story. So today, you're going to take everything you know about writing, 
all of your resources that you've gotten home so far, and you're going to make something out of your squiggle. You only need to use one of the three pages, so you get to choose the squiggle you like the most and use your imagination and make something amazing out of it. So first you're going to think, then you're going to draw, and then you're going to write. And here's the really, really important part. Today is a day where you can't ask anybody for help because what we're going to do with this squiggle is we're going to see what you know right now and what your writing looks like when nobody helps you. And then we're going to do it again in a couple months and then in a couple more months and then again at the end of the year. And we're going to be able to see how much you grow as a writer and how amazing your illustrations and your words become by comparing this very first one to the second and the third and the fourth. And it is so cool to see how you grow and learn. So for today, this is your job and your job only. No grown-up help. You're going to take your squiggle. You're going to think something amazing. You're going to draw, and then you're going to write about it. And then we'll collect it when you bring it in next time, and we'll save it in a really safe place. And then we can see how you grow as a writer over time. So go have fun. I can't wait to see how amazing your imagination is.